Mercury Joel at Mercuryland. Today we're going to talk about the 55 Monterey two-door hardtop. And you guys are in for a challenge. Um, if you remember the hardtops coming into 55, I'm not telling you Merc guys anything, most of them were sort of a bubble-topped car. In 55, they introduced the Montclair hardtop, which was a thinner, narrower top, longer, sleeker, look lower, it was lower, cool looking car, very popular car, that's kind of why. But they also carried on the Mont Monterey two-door hardtop, which is what I call the tall top, the old-fashioned top. Because of that, this vent window seal is different than the Montclair seal. It's different than the four-door sedan seal. And it's so different that nobody's reproducing this seal. Isn't that nice? So if you have a seal that's like this one, hard as a brick, and it's busted out, you're desperate. Well, I have figured out a way to get you by. I've had several customers do this, and it does work. It's not an overnight fast fix. Of course, you'll want to remove the whole casting out of the door before you do this, and then take the window out of the framework. But I want to show you what we do to get you fixed up. You have to buy two pairs or two sets of seals. You have to buy the seal for the Montclair two-door hardtop. You notice the difference? Montclair is only this tall and it's wider. There's a bigger vent window. We think when we look at a 55 and a 56 Mercury, we think they're all alike. Don't even go there. It's all together different on different models. It's a disaster. So here we have the Montclair seal. Here's the four-door sedan seal. Well, you notice it's all together different too. Down here at the bottom, it's more rounded. It's not squared off. And it's still not tall enough. Even the four-door sedan. So what we are going to do is make one seal, this one, out of these two. So after you get everything cleaned out, here's what I, well, before I get any further, I do and I have made up instructions with pictures to kind of show you what you need to do. And I'll kind of go along here as to what these instructions say. I hope I stay in order. <laughs> I think I will. But what you'll need to do, or what I have done when I did this physically one time to try it out, what you have to do is start off with your Montclair two-door hardtop seal, and you're going to end up, when you get it all in the framework, to kind of measure it out and see how it's going. You notice it's a little long here, of course. So what you're going to want to do is the critical point is to make sure the pivot hole is in the same spot. And if I remember right, your pivot hole is fine where the pivot is in relation to this part of the framework. You're okay. So basically what you need to do with this bottom end here is shorten it. Shorten it so that it's just a little shorter there. And if you want it to completely match here, you might want to cut this tail off. Right there, it's just a little flat piece of rubber. Then you won't have that, but you'll have a nice square corner like this one is. Your uh, regular sedan wasn't that way, as you notice. It was a rounded corner like that. So that's out of the question. Can't use that. So anyway, you shorten this in relation to this pin, making sure this pinhole, pivot pinhole, is in the same place as that pinhole. Now when you shorten it, you just square off the end? Square off the end, pretty much. If you can get fancy, I would suggest you try to cut it like this is notched here. If you can, you know, there's a little flap here, and you notice it's got a little flap here. So if you can notch it back, cut it back, so that you still have a little flap here, you'll probably end up trimming the flap down. It's doable, but it's going to take time if you want it exactly like the original. Can you do it with the utility knife? Yes, it'll be a little tough. They tell me, they, uh, custom shops and whatever, tell me if the rubber is chilled, it cuts easier. Don't freeze it, but if it's chilled, it'll cut easier. So I'm told, and, and cleaner. Put it in the refrigerator and use a utility knife. Yeah. That's what I'd try to do. If, if that's what I would do uh, to start out with. Then you notice, what are we going to do up here? Well, we need to retain the sedan seal is not the same here too, but it's the same as this seal. Well, in this area, you may not know this, but it's got a backing in this area. It's got uh, steel backing. 
So what you're going to want to do, and I did it on another seal, straighten this out. And it'll straighten out. And if you do it just right and just carefully, this corner won't show too bad. It'll lay down pretty good. So straighten this out so that this is now coming up here straight. Then take a, a straight edge or something and mark where you're going to need to cut this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to seam everything right up here in this corner. And that's the only seam you're going to see is just one cut, one seam right here in this corner. And that's where we're going to hide the seam. And basically that's the easiest so place to put it. When you straighten that metal out, you don't have to, uh, the rubber will stretch. You don't it, have to cut it. It'll stretch. I was surprised when I did this. I thought, yeah, this is going to really look dorky here because the rubber vulcanizes around the corner. It did not look that bad. By the time you get this all straightened out, it looks pretty darn good. So straighten it out and it'll hold its shape. See from here, from here on, there's no backing. The backing starts right here after the pivot point. It starts right there. So and after you get it straightened, down. where does where the backing end? After you get it straightened, the backing will be up here because it comes to here. So you're going to be, when you go to cut this at a right angle or at a 45, you'll be cutting through the backing itself. Okay? Like a hacksaw is what you'll need to use or something like that. Fine tooth saw to give you a nice cut. Okay, so you do that. That makes up two-thirds of the vent window right there off of this seal. Then you still need this piece. Well that's all the sedan is going to offer us is this top piece. And what's critical here is of course there again the pivot point. And if I remember right the pivot point is such that you're going to have to trim here at this end as well as where the 45 is which is great because you're going to 45 this so it matches what you already cut here. So the two come together. And the pivot point decides where you're going to make your cuts. So that is critical to make sure you keep your pivot point. And then trim it to fit up there. When you butt the two together, I would suggest you use uh, crazy glue but not the normal crazy glue that you're used to. They have a crazy glue that's kind of a, it's thicker. It's not as watery. It's, it's, and it, you put it in there and put the two together and it bonds this rubber real well. I've been able to get it at, a, at most parts stores. They'll have so you, you glue it after it's installed in the door. I would get it all fitted. And I'd get this bottom fitted, that's what I would do. And then when I got ready to put in this top, after I had it all cut and made, I would put crazy glue in this corner and shove her in there and get her in there. If you want a little glue to hold it in the actual channel, I would use the normal cement, rubber cement that you use the, for your door seal. That's what I'd do, it's the normal. Anyway, that is all we have to go with at this time. Nobody's repopping this seal. Um, that's all I can tell you to do. The vertical, of course, being longer, uh, there's nobody making the vertical seal that's got the rivets like the original factory. We do have a seal that's a glue-in. Same style seal, but you got to glue it in. It's not like the factory where it's riveted in. We have to live with it, I guess. That's all we can do. So, any questions? Do instructions come with this? Oh, or yes. Remember it? Oh, yes. I explained earlier. This comes with it. I'll send you these instructions. And I tried to get as detailed as possible, complete with pictures, of course. Colored yet. And, uh, but you know this from experience. You've done this. I did this. Just trying to help guys out. I had a, a vent window out of a door, of course. And I, on this very table, physically took two seals and destroyed them, trying to see how to get something that would work. And that's how I did it was to make it work.